Yo, YouTube, we're back for another episode. This time, we're going to be trying to show you guys how to sweep teams in control in a Crimson Lobby. Make sure you guys drop a like if you do enjoy the video. So, we're starting off with a Vel 46, man. I'm not going to lie. I've been, I've been using this gun a lot recently. I feel like it's just, I don't know, it really suits my play style. Just that more aggressive SMG. I feel like it gives me a lot more mobility and freedom across the map, and I'm just really loving using it. We start off, go through. My teammates on A. So, we go through. We get the first guy. Now, I'm one shot, right? So, it's time to back off. You know, we don't really want to want to die in this situation, but the nade comes in and he takes me out. But is one disadvantage advantage of not having a trophy system especially on like objective gamers i feel like sometimes when i get on the point it's just so easy for them to kill me because there's just so many angles so many equipment thrown at me and without a trophy it gets very difficult we go through we get quite fortunate that that guy didn't kill me because he actually cameraed me around the corner we're able to take him out push through the middle here now i'm basically just trying to like lock down the middle make sure my teammates are all good here because they're all rotating one goes through the left one goes through the right and at this point i'm trying to watch over them we, do we dolphin out through the middle and i notice i've got two teammates on b okay so what you want to do in this scenario like this is i mean there's a few th different options options you can do but one thing i'm trying to do is just watch over them and like i think i did a good job there we go through we get one we basically get the second guy finished as well jump around the corner chuck a star we take out the third so i'm essentially like their security guard right now just watching around them making sure that they're good to go now i'm looking through the left i know they're going to spawn back here so we make this guy one shot i do have a nade to work with so he's chucking nade back off and i mean so far i think we're doing a really good job of just kind of patrolling this area now if that nade didn't hit me i think i could have done even better because i probably would have been able to snake that area and just really trap them in the base there but i mean so far so good my teammates go to B, we go through the left good shots on and i mean honestly one of the best starts i've had in a while in terms of gameplay we go through almost fried that guy man we use a double prone jump really good movement there and um i just think i got really unlucky the fact that if he like got one less bullet on me in the beginning i probably would have got that kill again but we go through three people down and you want to match the pacing of the mini map okay now what i mean by that is well more the kill feed you want to match the pacing of the kill feed so if a three piece goes through you want to match that pacing you want to go aggressive and really kind of make sure that you're taking the fight to them in their spawn because the worst thing that happens is if you're in a spawn and somebody's pushed up that is the worst case scenario so that's what you want to do to them i go through and i want you to notice what i did there i actually marked the enemy because i felt like with the veil i was probably not going to get the kill so at least with me marking it it makes it a lot easier for my enemies to hopefully see them we go through we get the assist jump around the corner and again this is just a flawless round so far my teammates on the hills i'm like right let me jump on it with them let's just get the stack off and this should be a round win because we go through four go down and this we got to find the balance right between stacking the point and kind of just holding the objective so we go through and pushing out sorry not holding the objective and yeah i mean so far i think it was really really good flawless round one i mean we were going up against a team of diamonds but i think i still think that that's a really high level and you can just kind of see the difference right now they were just in the spawn trap the whole game let's go round two and see how it goes here we are into round two now what can we do on this defense so i mean what i normally do is i look at the first round and i kind of analyze in my head right did we do anything well was anything bad and now to be honest i think we played really well really aggressive and i don't see a problem with the gameplay so we're going to carry on keeping that trend to a kind of the same thing and see what we can do we go around the corner i'm actually one shot because i read the situation wrong but we did a good job of disengaging getting out and trying to play our life very very important there because if i just went there and threw my life i think that's a really poor start and you don't want to do that so we go through i'm just going to go through the top pair and um yeah they kind of played really credit there they're kind of back off and they were just playing angles i think they kind of got scared there they didn't really want to push out the map and fair play to them you know they got a two piece they recovered well but now we want to make sure that we're getting some map control because although they played very defensive they actually worked out really well basically they caught us on the over aggression uh, over aggression and they're able to capitalize to so go through we get one on our spawn this is a good play here from them honestly they pushed out played very very aggressive but they couldn't really do much with it so we go through again and i think one thing i'm noticing from my opponents is they, they're getting kills but they're just not really doing much with that so right there they got like a good wave of three kills but i don't think they really made us punish like they didn't really punish us to be honest they took very long to like rotate and stuff so it was quite easy for us to escape it but overall i feel like my team just winning a lot more gunfights than them so that's probably the reason why it's just a lot easier to kind of maneuver around go through the middle here what can we do right what's the play here so we go through the left and right now i'm just trying to get some information because i don't have a lot of information right we know that they're going to be around the middle but i don't know if they're going right I don't know if they're going left so i don't really want to just run blindly okay so i'm trying to play for information we go through and i know i've got the dead silence so what i'm trying to do is play for information go through use the dead silence and make a play that's kind of my thought process let's see if it works out we go through make this guy one shot i'm only going to chase him like that if i know i'm going to get the kill and because we made him one shot it was it was a pretty safe bet that i was going to get the kill so that's the only reason i challenge we go through again now there's a few decisions to be made okay because i know they're on b it's about how do we approach this and i actually ended up guessing wrong to be honest most of the time i expect somebody to be on the other side of the gate that was one of the rare scenarios where they actually want there they were actually spread across the hill and they're able to kind of take me out i don't think i would have been able to do much more even if i played it back now i probably think i would have done that play again 
Just because it's probably the most consistent play doesn't mean it works at every single time. But that's okay. We go through. They've got B. Now it's all about the transition. Okay, this bit is so, so crucial. If we let them have this transition, they can easily snowball this round into a win. So what you want to do is basically stop all momentum they have. And that means getting the kills, pushing up, and basically getting them in the spawn trap. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So my teammates here, we actually end up getting the first kill. So we push through the left. Second guy goes down. And now I'm in a great spot because I'm in the middle map. My teammates are on the right. And I've essentially got good control. Well, I thought I had good control. But that guy did a really good job. So I want you to notice what he did. When his team died, okay, he didn't just run around and go for more kills. He played slow. He played ratty. He went in the corner. Like, I was not expecting him to be there. And what happened is that allowed his teammates to kind of get some time. And he was able to get the kill. But they're on the A point. So we need to make a move here. We need to go to the right. I'm again, I'm playing a bit more of a supporting role this game. Although I'm, I'm using a submachine gun, I'm playing a bit more of a supporting role, just making sure that everyone's kind of doing their job. I'm watching the middle and stuff. So I, I kind of like this role sometimes as well. I feel like because I've got the, the game awareness for it, sometimes I don't need to be the main slayer. I just like to roam around, make sure everything looks good. Any um, maps kind of that's missing, any area, I kind of go and cover it. We go through, we get a two piece, jump around the corner. We spot this guy on the right. We're going to back off, chal him again. I'm just trying to like, you know, bait him in, to be honest with you. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But right now, we're not, do we're not doing too bad. I'm going to shut the door here. Okay, I thought we'd shut the door. I mean, that's not, not too bad of a play. I don't think he saw me somehow. So we go through. And I mean, we just got the lives advantage. So it really just went into our favor. And you can see the teammates doing good as well. The enemy just getting out slain. I feel like they did a good job in the beginning. I feel like they had the advantage slowly. And then I feel like every like one or two minutes, they kind of just slow down their pushes. They weren't playing aggressive enough. So the main point of this video is if you guys are in a scenario like this, right? It doesn't have to be from my team, from the enemy's perspective as well. I want to talk about things that I found easy to play against. And hopefully that can help you out. I don't know what I'm doing right here looking at the ceiling. I must have, yo, I, I mean, I know control's boring, but I was taking the, I don't know what I'm doing there. So I think the main kind of thing I realized about this game, and even now I'm so confident we're going to win, is because they just weren't getting in power positions that they were really punishing us with. Even if they get a two-piece, I felt like they did okay, but, oh, this, we need to we need to look at this nade. Another really quick point is, if you died like something like this, always watch the kill cam, just so you can get a bit more awareness about, right, what did he do there so I can add that to my game? Just a quick tip, but back to my previous point, is I knew this game, like, even when they get a three-piece, right, they didn't do an amazing job of like pressing our spawns like right there you saw that okay that guy was in the top um kind of window he didn't even look for me on the stairs he just played for the guys on the on the i think top white is called so it's like they're not really aware they're not really pressing us and really like hurting us when we're getting spawn trapped so i knew that it wasn't gonna be much of an issue so if you guys are in the same scenario make sure to suffocate the opponents even if they might be a higher rank than you or whatever just make it harder for them to play for um you know play against so we go through we get the first kill i am one shot so we're gonna go through the middle and i'm looking at my teammates and thinking well, what's the play here because i don't want to go by myself it's gonna be very difficult so i'm just gonna try and play around middle map we go through this guy actually made him one shot i thought i killed him but again Again, because he's one shot, I'm going to back myself, go for the re-challenge, and we're able to get the kill. So now this is where you got to look at the mini-map, and I really want you to like realize the game awareness here. So you want to look at the mini-map and think, right, where can my opponents come from? I knew that this would be the route they would take, so I went for the flank. The guy actually already died, which is perfect for me. We go through the middle, go through the left. Our centering is good. We get another kill, and um, I I feel like this is the moment where we kind of fry them. Okay, yeah. So I want you to notice what we do here. So because we've got dead silence, this is where you, again, really want to make a play. Really want to just utilize everything to your advantage. So we get the stun off. Now I'm thinking straight away, where can we get the advantage? So I'm going to go through the top, reposition. This guy's behind me. Right, let's use the door to our advantage. We jump through the door. Make sure we absolutely fry him. Get the kill. Back off. And it's just these small little details that you can win so many more gunfights with. I've actually, I actually made an ultimate Call of Duty guide. It's going to be in the description. And we also made a video to kind of correspond most of the points on there as well, a part of one of the sections. And that's going to be um on my channel i think it was like 10 mechanics or the ultimate guide i think it was a like ultimate model warfare 2 guide something like that it's on my channel i think we did it two days ago so make sure to check that out if you haven't already but now we're in a great position we're going to spawn trap them i've got the pack 56 in hand and this is what i mean i'm playing the role filler role so it's not like okay i'm going to spawn trap them for a definite i didn't think of that at the start of the round if i was near the hill i would have played the hill and i think sometimes you have to adapt and you have to be able to like switch roles so right now i'm thinking as long as i keep them back and allow my teammate to get a bit more map control we should be good to go now the problem there was my teammate weren't really going for the hill i don't know what they were doing to be honest because there was about three of them on the right i expected them to play a bit more aggressive on the hill and it just wasn't the case which is okay but i would have preferred if they went for the hill there but that's okay we're gonna go through and um, we were able to get two kills off the spawn trap what happened was the third pushed me and um i think i played it okay again i just feel like my teammates if they played a bit more aggressive on the hill would have been able to help me out but i spot this guy going in the window and um i go for one of the worst stun grenades i've done in the games so we go through and i'm stunning my teammate to go down and one thing you notice here is i'm not going through the right hand side where 
when we have no numbers because that right hand side is so kind of difficult to push through and for me it doesn't make sense to go by yourself like even right here you see i'm getting shot if i went through that right alleyway i would have been dead straight away so you want to kind of go through different areas now i'm not saying everyone should flank like we're doing now but i think just going through different scenarios different areas does help you out we go through we take out one and this is just some really good centering on my half we go through the left and just really good reaction really good centering definitely a kill i shouldn't have got like 100 percent but sometimes when you're in situations like that we get caught off guard and my positioning was very poor there but we were able to kind of push through get the kill and uh, yeah move on we go through two people down now i'm looking at the lives here and i only see five lives so i'm trying to jump on the hill i didn't expect them to be behind me just because i thought so well i did expect them to be behind me but there were so many angles i had to cover there where i looked at the mini map i looked at the situation i was like we don't have a lot of time right as long as i can sit on the hill i'm essentially going to bait myself in i don't mind dying as long as we can get the time and my teammates can get the trades and that ended up happening so it was a pretty easy game of control if you guys can take anything from it i think it's just about the aggressiveness i feel like the the enemy team just weren't aggressive enough like even when they got numbers they just played passive they kind of set up in very obvious spots and to be honest it was really easy to play against even if i made a mistake or they got a kill i was able to spawn up again and kind of push through but yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video make sure to drop a like and i'll catch you in tomorrow's one peace